hello guys welcome in this video in today's video i show you how to create this logo animation using cinema 4d we use a simple technique in order to create this logo animation but you can use it to create very advanced and complex logo animations if this is your first time to our channel don't forget to subscribe and now let's start okay first of all uh, import your logo We use the splines in order to create this uh, logo animation and my logo is created from three splines add an spline mask and use and add your logo pads and circle spline inside the spline mask and change the mood to and okay now if i change the position of circle you can see my logo is appearing and disappearing you can use any parameter that you want in order to create your logo appear you can use the position or the scale to create your logo animation i use the position parameter to create this logo animation create another copy of a spline mask and add another part of the logo to the spline mask now make adjustments to the circle spline change the size the position good now create another copy of the spline mask and add the last part of the logo to our spline mask now adjust the circle spline the size and the position that's good okay that's it and let's rename them part one part two and part three now let's uh, start creating our animation okay i want to use the position attributes in order to create this uh, animation go to the beginning of the timeline and create a keyframe for our circle go to frame 60 and change the position create another keyframe activate the spline mask and when we play and that's it I think I have to change the position of circle at the beginning okay that's good let's animate the second part go to the beginning of the timeline create a keyframe go to frame 60 change the position of the circle spline create another keyframe and activate the spline mask so far so good let's animate the last part create a keyframe at the beginning of the timeline go to frame 60 change the position of circle spline and create another keyframe very nice let's use extrude in order to add depth to our logo 
I change some attributes in advance because I want to make copies of this extrude and I don't want to repeat the same steps. Okay, one, two, and three. One, two, and three. Okay, make spline masks, child of these extrude generators and that's it when you play you can see that we have created our logo animation but we can add more complexity to our animation choose all the extrudes and put them inside one folder and create another copy change the movement decrease it and change the position of the second part of the logo I mean the second logo create another copy decrease the movement to 5 go to the top view and change the position Now if you play you can see that all the parts of the logo appear at the same time. Let's add some kind of delay to the other parts. Go to second logo and choose the two keyframes and move them about 10 frames ahead. Choose the last part keyframes and move them 20 frames ahead and as you can see when we play we have created a different uh, logo animation I mean we have improved our logo animation and made it more complex and interesting so it was for today's video and I hope you have learned something and don't forget to subscribe this channel and if you have any question regarding today's video Please leave a comment. I will see you in the next video.